Hello, in this SDL programming tutorial, I am going to show you how to change the background color of your well, SDL application. So I, you know, I'm using Visual Studio Code. If you're using Visual Studio, if you're doing this on Linux, it doesn't really matter what IDE you're using. As long as you've got it set up, you're all good to go. There's no platform specific code here. And I've got videos covering how to set it up on different OSs and using different IDEs. So feel free to check that out. And if there's something I haven't covered, let me know and I'll try and accommodate and create a video for you. Okay, so to do this, it's actually quite simple. Let me close this down. And what we'll do, there's four steps to it. And we'll do it after, you know, this stage. Because at the, at the end of the day, if this is null, then there's no point doing any extra code. If the window is not created successfully, then there's no point trying to change the color. So first of all, what we need to do is create a SDL renderer and we have to call the SDL create renderer. And this is in order for the draw course to actually affect the window. So to do that, we put SDL. Ooh, well, I had a control press SDL underscore create renderer. And we're going to name it. I'm going to call it renderer equals SDL underscore create renderer and sorry this was meant to be SDL renderer not create renderer create renderer is the method we'll use to well create it and you specify a few parameters first is the window then you need to specify an index and I'm just going to put negative one because it'll initialize the first one this is for the rendering driver that has the requested flag so negative one then any flags, I'm going to just put zero. So feel free to check out the SDL underscore render flags if you want to mess around with that. But for me, don't need any of that. Okay, next, what we need to do is actually select the color. To do that, we do SDL underscore set render draw color. We specify the renderer. And let's do red. So 255 because it's RGB. And it ranges between 0 and 255. So there's a total of 256, you know, values per red, green, and blue, and alpha. Alpha is the transparency. So 255 is fully visible. 0 is, well, it is fully transparent, not visible at all. And that will put 0, 0, and 255 because we want to be able to see the color. And now next step is we need to call the SDL underscore render clear method. And we need to clear the entire screen to our selected color. That's the way SDL works. So we put SDL underscore render clear. We specify the renderer. And now we just need to present what we've, you know, set to render to the screen uh, or like yeah, to the screen but you'll be based on the renderer so we put sdl underscore render present and we specify the renderer and obviously if you're in something like visual studio code you may need to run some make file like i am but just build it and run it however you normally would boom there we go it is now red and to show you that that wasn't some previous executable, I'll put, let's say, zero and let's, I'll put 255 and 255, so that's red, green. Red, green mixed is, is that like yellow? Yellow or orange, I'm gonna say. So let's call make, let's run the application. There we go, yellow. So that's how you change the background color in SDL. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Let me know what other content in SDL and programming in general that you would like to see. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.